Now we're ready to learn how to play the snare drum. The first thing we need to talk about is the motion of the arms when we play the drum. When we move the stick up and down to strike the drum, we don't use our entire arm like this. And we don't really use our forearm too much like this. Most of the motion comes from the wrist like this. Let's practice this wrist motion. Place your sticks in playing position and we're going to air drum, which means we're not actually going to strike the drum yet. We're going to practice the wrist motion like this. Let's do right hand, up and down. Make sure you have a good grip with your fulcrum, your index finger, and your thumb print. Now try your left hand. Remember, moving from the wrist and your palms facing down. Now let's do an air drumming exercise together. We'll do four on the right hand and four on the left hand. Ready? Go. Right, 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 left, 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 left. Let's do that again. Right, 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 left, 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 left. The wrist motion of playing the snare drum is a lot like dribbling a basketball. Imagine like you're dribbling a basketball close to the ground. Now let's hold our stick with proper stick grip and feel the same sort of motion as dribbling a basketball. Now we're not going to let go of the stick like we do with a basketball. We have to keep our fulcrum intact the whole time. But much like a basketball, when you play the drum, you'll feel the stick rebound off the drum back to its original position. Try that with your right hand and your left hand. Now that we've practiced our wrist motion, imagining like we're dribbling a basketball, we're going to learn the basic stroke on the snare drum. This is called a full stroke. Place your sticks in playing position over the snare drum head, forming that V shape over the drum. We're going to focus on our right stick first. So using your wrist, raise the drumstick about 8 inches above the snare drum head. We're going to let the stick strike the drum and then feel it rebound back up to its original position. Be careful not to be tense with your hand or strike the drum too hard, like this. That's not a very pleasant sound. Don't hit the snare drum too hard with your stick, and make sure your stick grip is relaxed while always maintaining our fulcrum. Let's try four full strokes with our right hand. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Go back to playing position with both hands, and now let's focus on our left hand. Put your right hand at your side. Using your wrist motion, raise the stick about 8 inches above the drum head, and let the stick strike the drum, and then rebound back to its original position. Let's do four full strokes with our left hand. Ready? Raise the stick, and go. One, two, three, four. Place both of your sticks back into playing position and let's do four full strokes on each hand slowly. Here's four rights. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. And four on the left. One, two, three, four. Practice your full basic stroke on both your right hand and your left hand trying to get an even sound on both hands. Always keep in mind that you want your arms to be relaxed. We always maintain the fulcrum, the balance point on our stick, and our goal is to get a nice resonant sound from the drum by rebounding the stick back to where we started.